Um, yeah, so I did Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.J. Rowling. You may have heard of me. Okay, so um, J.K. Rowling, before she created the Harry Potter books, she was living off of welfare in Scotland, and she decided to move to Portugal at one point. She met her husband, they had a kid, they got divorced, then she moved back to England and lived with her sister. So she was really, really poor before she made any of the books. After about 10 years, she became Within 10 years of making the first Harry Potter book, she became wealthier than the Queen. And the last, uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is the last book in the series, and there is a large, uh, the main theme of the book is religion, good versus evil, God versus Satan, all that stuff. So the main synopsis of the book is Harry is finding all of these Horcruxes to defeat Voldemort. Uh, Voldemort, before he went on his killing spree, um, separated his soul into different kinds of trinkets, that way he can't die. And essentially he found out that he can do this by a professor at Hogwarts when he went there. So Harry is looking for these Horcruxes, and at the same time he's also trying to find um, what they call the Deathly Hallows. And so, this is a symbol for the Deathly Hallows, and as the story goes, there were three brothers, long, long time ago, and they came across this river, and they were told, if you, you can't cross this river because you will die. And they're like, oh, we're wizards, so we can create a bridge to cross it. They made the bridge, and they crossed it, and Death came, and he said, oh, you tricked me. It's okay now that you are so witty, and you, know, you created this bridge. Um, I will grant you three gifts. And the oldest brother was like, can I have a wand that will take all of your powers of death and that way I can kill anyone who I want, magical or not? And he said, of course. So he took the wood from an elder tree and made it into the elder wand. The middle brother um, recently lost the love of his life and he was like, can I have the power to bring back someone who died? So the spirit of death concocted um, the resurrection stone. And then the youngest brother, who was the wisest and the most logical, was like, can you please give me a gift? That way I can hide away from you until I'm ready to go be with you and not die. And he said, of course. So he gave him the invisibility cloak. The three together um, make the wizard like the most powerful being in the universe. So it's good for them to be you know, separated. So what happened with the oldest brother is that night after he got the gift from the um, spirit of death, he went to a pub, got into a brawl, and killed the guy with the, with the wand he most recently got. While he's sleeping that night, the spirit of death comes in, slits his throat, and takes the wand. The middle brother brings back his, the love of his life with the resurrection stone, but she's in so much pain and agony and she's not all really there that he's like, he kills her again and then he hangs himself on his balcony. That way he can be with her in everlasting life. And then the third brother lives a very long life and when he's ready to die, he greets, he takes off the invisibility cloak and greets death as a friend. So if you have all three of those, you can kill anyone you want, you can hide from anything, and you can bring people back to life. So essentially that's what Voldemort was trying to do, and get that back as well. So, uh, one of the big topics is religion and society. So, we're becoming more secular as a whole group overall, and J.K. Rowling wanted to bring back in underlying tones of religion to make people more interested. So, um, Voldemort's kind of posse of bad guys are the Death Eaters, and so they're just like um, Satan's helpers who try to influence people to go to like the bad side or just implement bad thoughts into people. Um, so, oh, here are the different Horcruxes too. Um, so, Harry is seen as a Jesus figure, so he goes through several rounds of death resurrection, life. And so, um, oh, this is actually the resurrection stone. 
So in the very first part of the Deathly Hallows, and if you have seen the movie, it's the first part of Deathly Hallows Part 1. Um, he buries Dobby, who saved himself for Harry, who's a uh, household. And um, when Harry digs the grave, it's like he's going down into the underworld and coming back up. So he's kind of, it's a rebirth, and it shows that Harry's ready to fight Voldemort. Um, and then when Harry is walking into the forest, to me, oh, so long story short, um, Harry finds the Horcruxes, but Voldemort beat him to the last one, and then um, he's told by, he can go back and look at the memories, and he's told by Dumbledore that he has to die, essentially, to save everyone. So Harry's walking into the forest to meet Voldemort, and it's just as Jesus walked through the wilderness, and he's being tempted by all these things, all these thoughts, and when he meets Voldemort, um, he has in his hand the resurrection stone, that way he can come back to life. And so Harry himself is actually a Horcrux, because when Voldemort um, tried to kill him when he was a baby, um, bounce, his mom like made the spell bounce off, so that's why he has a scar. And actually, the symbol of the lightning bolt, which is Harry Potter's scar, is a symbol of like an event that has a lot of repercussions afterward, but it also shows hope. So, and it's on his head because the brain holds knowledge. Um, so Harry Potter dies, and then as Hagrid's faithful friend brings him up, Harry like wakes up, grabs the Elder Wand, and. Um, kills the last four crocs, which is um, Voldemort's pet snake, and um, then he kills Voldemort. I mean, um, but I think everyone did. And then, so in Harry Potter, uh, a lot of the names have specific meanings, and so Harry is seen. <coughs> like I did all this research on the names, Harry is seen as. Um, as royalty because a lot of, of the past royal figures in history have been named Harry, uh, Harry or you know King whatever and then Hermione her name is plain because she's a she's a muggle but um, Hermione actually comes from helper and so it shows that she's helping Harry get to his point and um, 